Hi, I'm Ava. It's so nice to meet you. Sit, I... sit, please. So, why are you here? Um, to interview for the job. And why are you interested in this particular job? Oh, well, it, it would obviously be an honor to work with someone like you who's been working so uh, successfully for so long. I mean, you're a legend. Wow, a legend. <laughs> so you're a fan? I mean, of course, would I be here if I wasn't? What's your favorite joke of mine? Well, that's so hard. It shouldn't be. I've written over 30,000, so just pick one. Um, well, I would say your TV show is probably my favorite thing you've ever done. My TV show? You've seen it? <laughs> I've seen clips. Clips? Wonderful. So on my last show, a lot of the actors started as stand-up, so I actually have a lot of experience writing for I'm home. gonna stop you right there. I am sorry, but the position no longer exists. Oh, did that just happen? Because I got a call this morning saying you wanted to meet. It did just happen. Uh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> Yes, well, luckily you didn't waste too much time researching me. I'm sorry, did I do something to offend you? Other than walking those chimney sweep boots on my silk rug? Oh, no. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was a shoes off situation. I can... Well, it's shoe dependent. Thank you for your time. Good luck with your career, honey. Fucking bitch. Do you have something to say? Yeah, you've just been kind of rude and I dropped everything to be here. Oh Christ, did you want a gold star for showing up? Kinda, yeah, because you're right, I'm not a fan of yours. <laughs> you caught me, great call. This is all just a little fucking annoying because I flew all the way over here for a job that I don't even want in the first place. The last thing on earth I want is to move to the desert to write lame jokes for you. You can see yourself out. Please don't take anything on your way. You're obviously hard up for cash once again. I am referring to your outfit. Oh, don't worry. This place isn't really my vibe. So cool they let you move into a cheesecake factory, though. Oh, is that where you wait tables? It seems like a better fit. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather serve bang bang shrimp and chicken to tourists than work here. Oh, hey, before I leave, did you want to inspect my bag or is that just a beloved family tradition? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Why are you really here? What? If you're so in demand, then why do you come? They don't just send 20-something it girls out to the desert. Because I can't get any other job. I tweeted a joke about that closeted senator who sent his kid to conversion therapy. I was trying to call him out, but everyone freaked out and then some conservative asshole dug up some other dumb shit I said when I was like 20 and they canceled my deal and now no one will hire me, including you apparently. So my life is pretty much ruined. Your life is ruined? Please, sounds like a Tuesday to me. Besides, you're a writer. No one cares. Well, actually, they really do care. It's been a huge fucking problem for me, but yeah, I guess it's not getting quite as much press as when you burned your ex-husband's house down. <laughs> yeah, I actually did do my research. So what was it? This joke that apparently ruined your life? I must hear it. Senator Rogers is upset because he found out his kid's gay. Apparently he heard it from one of the guys he was sucking off in the Senate cloakroom. Yes, I realize now that I crossed a line. You and Don Lennon agree. 
Oh, honey, there is no line. It's just not funny. You should be blacklisted for how bad the joke is. Cool. Thanks. Kind of getting why everyone took your cheating ex-husband's side. Bye.